them all. Ah, uh, Ellie. Hey, what are you... Joel? Bill! What are you doing? Bill! Turn around and get on your knees. Just calm down a second. Turn around all right. and get on your knees! Don't test me! Just take it easy. Any bites? No. Anything sprouting? Oh, God damn it, I'm clean! Don't I see so much as a bitch. Ow! Stop! Son of a bitch! You done? Am I done? You come into my house. You set off all my traps. You damn near break my shooting arm. Who, who the fuck is this punk and what's she doing here? I am none of your goddamn business. And we're here because you owe Joel some favors. And oh. you can start by taking these off. I owe Joel some favors. Just some kind of joke. It's been two long years since Naughty Dog's last release. With the last game in the Uncharted series, Uncharted 3 Drake's Deception, it was unknown where Naughty Dog would go next. Though, just before the end of the PS3 life cycle, Naughty Dog made what has to be arguably one of the best games for the console, The Last of Us. The Last of Us is heavily story-based, with cutscenes flowing on straight from the action, just as in Uncharted. The game is set in a post-apocalyptic America, and focuses on the characters Joel and Ellie as they struggle to survive. Not only do Joel and Ellie have to protect themselves against other humans, but against the infected, which are humans who have been infected by a fungal infection. The relationship between Ellie and Joel is brilliant to watch unfold throughout the game, with both of them facing different hardships in their lives because Joel has experienced the world before all of these events have taken place, whereas Ellie's only lived in the post-apocalyptic world. Gameplay in The Last of Us is a mix between adventure puzzling and combat. The gameplay is similar to Uncharted in the sense that there are several puzzles you have to solve before moving on. Though, sadly, these are fairly easy in The Last of Us, and can be done without much effort. The combat is excellent in The Last of Us. Due to the game being set in a post-apocalyptic world, there are little resources, so you have to plan your attacks to ensure that you do not waste resources. In previous games, you would not really see this in a post-apocalyptic world, and I feel like Last of Us have done it perfectly. Also on top of this, you can either dive straight into battle, or stealthily tackle enemies one by one. Or, if you're different, you could sneak around behind the enemies and move on through the game without even having to battle an enemy. I thought this was a great feature as everyone can have their own experience in The Last of Us, and no two people will have the same experience. Graphically, The Last of Us is beautiful, and it has to be one of the best looking games released on the PS3. Cutscenes look beautiful and the environments feel real and are brought to life. The soundtrack is also a key element of The Last of Us, and another story based game needs a way of kind of adding emotion to the game, and definitely, the soundtrack does this. It really pulls on your heartstrings throughout some of the sadder scenes, and after playing through the game you'll be eager to pick up the soundtrack. So, what's the verdict on The Last of Us? The game is brilliantly written, with brilliantly written characters, and an engaging plot. It's got an excellent soundtrack, and the choice in combat is unofficially, and it works well. Though, with every good game, we've got a few negatives. Sadly, the enemies don't always respond as you'd expect, though the majority of the time they do. Game assets appear and disappear occasionally, which can also cause a bad experience, and it really takes you out of the story. It's rare that a game can provide great gameplay brilliant soundtrack and such well designed characters without many flaws, but Naughty Dog seem to have done it. The Last of Us has to be one of the best PS3 titles and has really ended the PS3 lifecycle on a high. The Last of Us deserves a well earned 10 out of 10.